The new main became the new home of the George Rickey kinetic sculpture Double L Eccentric Gyratory last month when the sculpture was installed in front of the library near the corner of Larkin and Fulton Streets. The Double L sculpture was a gift to the city from Dr. Carl Jurassi, the Stanford chemistry professor, novelist, and generous collector of modern art. The piece was formerly installed on the Woodside estate of Dr. Jurassi, who paid for most of the costs involved in moving and installing the sculpture at the new main site. Additional installation costs were paid for by the Art Commission. The day after the Double L sculpture was installed, Art Commission President Stanley Gaddy hosted a public dedication ceremony that was attended by Library Commission President Steve Coulter, Mayor Brown, and Dr. Carl Jurassi. The L doesn't just stand for literature, library, letters, and so on. It's the greatest letter in the English alphabet. It stands for love, libido, lust, to give you just a few examples. But you know, if you look at City Hall, you could say it's liberty, laissez-faire. In San Francisco, you'd even say lunacy, meaning lunacy <laughs> as a complementary term. It's one of the few towns where it is a complementary term. You could look at the federal build, the state building, federal building, and you could talk about law and also largesse. You can talk about, you know, all kinds. L is a great letter. I must say, the fact that there are two L's in Willie, that I knew. I did not see a W here before. I was long looking for a DJ in here, never saw it. So I'm amazed that they found W and E's in there, but I'm happy to do it. One last uh, remark I would like to make. I stopped by here yesterday evening, driving by. And I would say the great time to see it is in fact sunset because as the sun comes this way here, you have these enormous shadows over the library and it's usually quite windy. And these L's were really dancing and there were four L's and not just two. And it's this mixture of literacy, law, love, laughter, light, and so on, which really all performs here in the square, which I think is something that really to me denotes the city of San Francisco. And since this is also a library and I'm now finished, I asked my secretary to call up, I didn't have the guts to go here, and ask whether they had any of my novels in the library. And to my pleasure, you did have my last three fiction books, but there's a whole pile of books right here, <laughs> which are also by me, including an autobiography, which you don't have. And I said, I will not only give it to you, but I offer to shelve them too, because I understand your problem. So if you tell me where to shelve them, I'll shelve them for you. Thank you. The 1982 Ricky sculpture rests upon a seven foot high pedestal. The two 18 foot L shaped arms pivot on ball bearings on a Y shaped base and are constantly changing in response to air currents. Sculptor George Rickey is considered a father of kinetic sculpture and his delightful works are installed throughout the world.